action. Hi, I'm Mark, and I'm going to show you an observational experiment that you can do to introduce collisions and momentum. So I have two wireless smart carts from PASCO. They come in different colors, but the carts are actually identical in mass and in other characteristics. I'm not going to use the data collection features of the carts, although I, I could, but for this activity, it was just a conceptual activity. So I set it up like this with the blue cart in the center of the track, and I told the students, blue cart has to stay put, stay put blue cart, blue cart stays put. I told the students, I'm going to give the red cart a brief push, and I'm going to let it go, and it's going to collide with the blue cart. What's going to happen? Make a prediction. Um, I have the magnetic bumpers installed, so these work really well. They have neodymium magnets in them, very strong magnets, and the carts won't come in contact with each other. They'll just push each other. So I'll show you what happens. The red cart stops and the blue cart takes off. So that leads to the idea that something is transferred. The red cart was moving, it had something, some physical quantity. The blue cart was stationary, it had no quantity of motion. When they collided, the red cart stopped and it transferred the quantity of motion it had to the blue cart, which moved off at about the same speed. So I repeated it several times. So just observe, doesn't it really look like the blue cart moves at about the same speed as the red cart comes in? And then I took it another step and I added a mass. So Pasco makes these masses that are 250 grams. I'm not sure what the mass of the smart carts are. The old plastic carts were also 250 grams. Um, that's what I used. So I doubled the mass of the cart. So let's watch what happens again. Predict students before I push the cart, what's going to happen? Is the same thing going to happen? Is the blue cart going to move off with the same speed as the red cart or not? And then I gave a shove. Oops. Blue cart wasn't in the rails. Stay, stay put, blue cart. Okay, gave a shove, and we observed. It's pretty obvious that the blue cart moves off faster than the red cart, and the red cart no longer stops after the collision. And then we just kept repeating that with different variations. I had quite a few of these masses, and so I added additional masses on top of the red cart, and we observed what happened to the, to the blue cart. And then, later, I reversed it, and I said, students, what's going to happen after I add more mass to the blue cart? Same experiment. This stays at rest. Same setup. This blue cart stays at rest, and the red cart comes in. What happened? Why? And so changing the mass gets across the idea that it's not velocity that's transferred, that there's something more to it. And that's why I use the term quantity of motion. That's an old-fashioned term for momentum. And we talk about that there seems to be some effect of having different velocities and some effect of having different masses. And then from that we develop the conservation momentum equations from that conversation. Thanks for watching. Remember what one fool can learn, another can't.